Hi everyone, this is Arohi and in this video I will talk about TF IDF vectorizer. So TF means term frequency and IDF means inverse document frequency. Right. See guys, as we know that in artificial intelligence we always convert our text data into numbers because computer understand the data in numeric form. Right. So today I will show you how to handle text data using TF IDF vectorizer. See the main role of TF-IDF vectorizer is to find the most important words means to find the most significant words from the documents. See when we talk about this TF-IDF uh, vectorizer, so TF means term frequency, right? So what is term? See term means words. See in sentence we have different words, right? So this term means words and document means sentence. So, how to calculate TF IDF value? So, first of all, calculate TF, right? Calculate TF and then calculate IDF, then multiply TF into IDF, right? When you will multiply TF into IDF, you will get a TF IDF value, and the value which you will get means if that value is higher, that means that particular word is a more significant word, right? And if the value is smaller, that means that word is not significant. Let me show you the whole process practically. So, how to calculate this term frequency? See, term frequency simply means how many times, it means how frequently that particular word is occurring in a document. This is what term frequency is. Means what we want to find is, we want to find that how many times every word is appearing in a document. Document means in a row. Right, so the formula for that is divide the number of that particular word divided by the all the words in that particular document as I've just shown you over here. This is the example. Please consider this example. So the sentence over here is Pyford provide training to students and also provide training to working professionals. So this is our line and we want to know and we want to perform this term frequency on this. Let's suppose I want to find out the term frequency of Pyford. Right, the word Pyford. I want to see the term frequency of this Pyford. So, according to this formula, how many times Pyford is appearing in this example? One time. So, 1 divided by 12. Why 12? Because the number of words in this sentence is 12. So, single word divided by all the words of that line will give you a term frequency. In the same way, over here, I am checking the term frequency of training now. So now, how many times this training word is appearing in a sentence? See, one time over here and the other time over here. So that means two because training word is appearing twice in a sentence and divided by 12. 12 because we have 12 words in a sentence. So when you will divide, you will get one number over here. That will be the frequency of the training word, right? So now this is how we will calculate the term frequency of every word. See, I have just shown you for two different words. For every different word, we will calculate the term frequency by using this formula only. Right. So once we have the term frequency of those words, now we can calculate the IDF. IDF means inverse document frequency. See, when we are calculating ten, uh, this term frequency at that time we are giving equal importance to every word right but while calculating this idf we are trying to find the rare words please notice we are trying to find the rare words so okay why we are trying to find the rare words because if we will go for more frequent words right let's suppose instead of rare words if you are going for more frequent words then we will face a problem because of stop words now what are stop words stop words just a connecting word like is am the me are so these are common words in every sentence right so if you are looking for uh, this uh, most frequent words then these stop words may appear lot of time so that's why we are finding rare words all right so, how we can find rare words? So, the formula for that is log of total number of documents. Total number of documents means, as I've just told you, document means sentences. So, total number of rows in your data set divided by number of rows 
with that particular word i'll show you this with a also example let's suppose these are the three different lines of our data set first line of our data set is pifert provide trainings to student and second sentence is pifert is a software development company and third sentence is we provide planning uh, placement after training so now we want to calculate this idf so formula as i've just shown you total number of documents how many total number of documents we have three we have three rows right so log of 3 by number of documents in that particular word is appearing so now i want to calculate the idf of pifert word right i want to calculate the inverse document frequency of pifert word so the formula for that is log then you need to write the total number of documents in your data set so how many rows are there in a data set for example right now 3 so 3 and in how many different rows this pifert word is appearing so pifert is appearing in first line pifert is also present in second line but in third line pifert is not appearing so 3 means total number of rows in a data set is 3 divided by 2 means but out of those 3 rows only 2 rows are having this pifert word so log you will calculate the log 3 by 2 then you will get the inverse document frequency for pifert word in the same way let's suppose i want to calculate the uh, this idf inverse document frequency of software word so we have three uh, rows in our data set and in how many rows we have this software word we have software word in single line so that means log 3 by 1 why this one because one row is having this uh, software word so this is how you can find the rare words so now we have calculated the term frequency and we know how to calculate the inverse document frequency now how we can calculate this tf idf see just multiply the value which you will get after calculating this tf and multiply the value with the idf you will get the tf idf value right so means uh, now after uh, when you will get this value so on the basis see for every different word you will be having different value then you can check that which particular word is having the higher value so the word which will have the higher value that particular word is more significant for that particular document for that particular row now i'll show you with uh, you know uh, with proper uh, example so over here see i'm importing this tf idf vectorizer from sklearn dot from this particular module we are importing tf idf vectorizer right then in next line i'm calling that tf idf vectorizer in this variable right now i have these two sentences and i want to know like what are the most significant words in these two sentences right in doc underscore one variable i have first sentence and in doc underscore two variable i have second sentence right so now in next cell i have one variable in this variable i'm calling this tf idf then in which i have uh, you know uh, i have this tf idf model i'm writing that model and then fit underscore transform i hope you are feel, uh, already familiar with this fit and transform fit means providing data to your algorithm and transform will uh, that particular algorithm will perform the transformation on that so what we are doing over here is we are fitting the data which is present in these two variables and then tf idf vectorizer will transform the result and will store the result in response variable all right so in next line over here i'm checking the length means what is the length in tf idf vectorizer see length simply means different vocabulary words means how many unique words were there in these two different lines so when you will check the length so the length is 7 why length is 7 so over here you can see pifert provide training to is similar in to the two lines right so pifert is one word this is two this is three and this is four then walking is fifth word professional is sixth word and student is seventh word so how many unique words were there in our uh, data set seven unique words so over here in next line see over here i'm just checking the length but over here i'm printing the different vocabulary so how you can print the different vocabulary by just writing the tf idf variable in which we have called the tf idf vectorizer 
and then just write dot vocabulary with it you will get results like this so what this telling us is 540 provide to that simply means this zero numeric value got assigned to 540 word two numeric value got assigned to provide five means training means in your document in your data set this training word got encoded into five provide word got encoded into two see why we have converted these words into numbers because i have just told you in the starting of our class that artificial intelligence our algorithm understands the data in the form of numeric so tf idf is converting those num uh, words into numbers first of all right then after converting those numbers into you know um, converting those words into number it will tell us the um, you know the most significant word it will calculate the most significant word so over here i'm printing the response so remember in response uh, variable i have fit the data and i'm transforming the results so over here you can see the response so see these are the different tf idf values i'll tell you how to know about it see over here you'll see zero here also zero here also zero so means till here we are having zeros that means these are the records belongs to the very first row and then we have one one means we are talking about second row so we have two rows so zero means we are talking about first row and this one means we are talking about second row in zeroth row the word which is encoded as one which word is encoded as one professional right in zeroth row we have word professional which is encoded as one the tf idf frequency of that word is this that means that word is this much significant and then in zeroth row we have number 6 6 means working so working is encoded as 6 in zeroth row we have a working word and the term frequency uh, and the tf idf frequency of that word is this all right in the same way we have tf idf frequency of every word so now you can check over here which word is having highest term frequency so this this value is the highest value 0.57 so let's see which particular word is this the word which is encoded as 3 which word is encoded as 3 student word is encoded as 3 so that means in both the document in second line this is the word which is you know having the highest tf idf value means in second row student word is the most significant word and in the first row in the first record which these two words have the most significant values one is work uh, one is professional and six is working right so these are the two sentences right these are the two sentences in first sentence these two words are the highly significant and in second sentence this is the word which is highly significant means these are the rare words which are present in these two sentences so this is how tf idf vectorizer tells us which particular word is more significant right so see this is the another way in the next cell i'm showing you this is the another way to show your results right so tf idf dot get feature names see this get features names will give you the different features means the different vocabulary of your data set and in front of that i'm showing the uh, term frequency uh, sorry tf idf value of those words right so this is what tf idf uh, vectorizer is i hope you understand the concept tf idf is simply telling us which particular word is more significant more important in a sentence right so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching